So there we are at Chessington, ready for another Pokemon Go adventure. Loads of Pokestops to visit, a couple of gyms. Let's go. I've just caught my first ever Lapras and it is a whopping 1616 CP. Pretty cool. Found it by the uh, penguins. I've got a snapshot but I didn't do any video of it but there we go. Easy with me, the new Lapras. So that's Team Instinct Gym down. Yeah, I think so. 
Hello, Cook. This is where I'll be staying tonight. Just in the, it's the Safari Hotel. And there's a poke stop right outside in the middle of that roundabout, which is really cool, just outside. And there was a lot of poke on there before. Oh, none turned up at the moment. But there was about four there before, so hopefully some more will spawn. Time to get into the hotel. This is in the uh, hotel lobby. This is really cool. It's a big lion sculpture with a waterfall down its back and a little rock tree. It does have and real birds on. And of course, it's a poker stop. So we're walking up in the hotel room, and while we can't reach this um, poker stop, the law's on this morning, and we're able to pick up the Pokemon from there, so that's pretty cool. Where we are in the hotel, that's just outside. Well, I've had an absolutely fantastic time at Chesterton World of Adventure and uh, lots of Pokemon hunting. I started with 56 Pokemon in my um, in my storage after Chesterton and now I have 247, so that's nearly 
200 Pokemon caught and some were uh, hatch from eggs because I bought um I bought an additional five incubators for when I was walking around. So uh, this is before I set off. The first catch was a Sparrow, and then we hatched a Goldeen from an egg. We've got plenty of Caterpies. Not many drowsies, I get loads around here, but I think I've only picked up a few there. So we've got Krabby, Ghastly, lots of Weedles, lots of Pidgeys. Uh, I've got a shelter, I've got quite a few, and I've got enough now for a um, cloister, so that's pretty cool. We've got a pretty high powered Eevee here, so that might be an evolution. Got a few candies. Uh, more pigeons, a bit of that side duck. I've recently evolved one of them, but now I've got enough to do another. If we've got a decent one. With a high CP. Uh, plenty of the normal type. Got got quite a few uh, magic out, which get me ever closer to that Gyarados. Still a long way to go. But, uh, I think this might have been from a from a hatching an egg. And the best find of the whole trip was this Lapras, the CP one six one six. So that was a, just an amazing find, love that. Caught it by the penguins. Uh, just before that I hatched another egg with a Magnemite, which I'm getting oh, getting close now to that Magneton. Uh, then we caught a Weeping Bell, which is way more powerful than the one that I already had. But still, not, not as quite as powerful as I'd like, but we've got 70 candies. We've got some Bell Sprouts here we can trade in for candies. Uh, I was happy to find Eevees. More of those, I think. Yeah, we've now got way more than enough to for a Starmie. We did find a Squirtle, which is really cool. I always like to find them, but I'm quite a way off a Blastoise, so I've got a War Turtle. Um. Poliwag, we've got 66 candies for them. I do have a Poliwhirl, again, it's not quite as powerful as I'd like. Uh, we've got a really high powered uh, Bell Sprout there as well, so I might save that one just just in case. Because it'll be better than the Weeping Bell that I've got, but we'll see. Quite a high powered uh, Drowsy there. We've got enough to evolve him, should be. Uh, 1200 CP Hypno. Uh, I believe that was an egg and the seal was an egg. There's more of the standard sort of Pokemon. Uh, now we get to here. Was it? No, not, not quite yet. Um, that was from an egg and that was from an egg as well. We got a slow poke, which is always good, but I think I'm way off evolving that. We found a Cedra. Not as powerful as the one I've already got, but quite a nice find. We found another Dratini, which is pretty cool. I hardly ever find these, this is the only second one I've ever found. So I don't have many candies. Uh got quite a high powered orange there. I have got a gloom. So I'm not sure whether to evolve this one and then save up another 25 and another 35 to then evolve that into a vile plume. And I think the last thing we got was a coffin on the way out and then uh, unfortunately we got stuck in lots of traffic. I think we did 20 miles in about two hours but I left Pokemon Go on so the some eggs would hatch and we got a uh, we got Geodude, we got Magikarp, we got two uh, Ponytas, which is pretty pretty good. So getting quite close now. To getting a Rapidash. We got Z from uh, another egg. 
think that gold up was from a, another egg. I'll probably evolve that one because that's pretty good. Uh, we stopped at some services. We've got a Caterpie and a pretty poor uh, Venomoth. But we'll pick that up because it had a they had a low module at the services, and we've got a few more bits and pieces on the way home. So now gonna have to spend about an hour uh, transferring these. And then I'll probably put on a lucky lucky egg and I can probably get up to level 23. Because we've got 192 Pidgey candies. So that's quite a lot I can uh, evolve. And same with Weedles. So I Trying to put a lucky egg on, try and evolve uh, 40 to 50 uh, Pokemon. 50 Pokemon evolutions with a lucky egg is 50,000 experience, so that's what I'm going to be aiming for. So, yeah, all in all, pretty good trip. We got some, uh, got some great rides, and we got on Bubble Works because that's shutting down this September. And I'd never actually ridden it before, so shutting down this September after being open for 26 years, so it was the last chance that I could go on it. It was really good. Sad to see it go. So that's this uh, this little Pokemon hunting vlog. Hope you enjoyed. <coughs> Excuse me, a very dry throat at the moment. It's a long drive back today. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra for now.